Hello everybody. I'm gonna change my YouTube channel to just like be in the car with Gigi because apparently I love starting my videos in my car now. So today we're going grocery shopping, but we're not just going grocery shopping. We're going grocery shopping at Aldi. Let me tell you something about Aldi. I forgot that it existed honestly. And the other day I was right by one. So I went in and picked up some stuff. I got so many things for literally $30, which if you do groceries regularly, you know that $30 is like not that much for groceries. I felt like I got everything that I needed and I, it was literally $30. I think Aldi's like owned by the same people as Trader Joe's or something. I know it's like some type of relation, but I just had a blast last time I was here. So I figured this time I'll bring you guys along, show you what kind of groceries I get. I'll do a little haul when I get home. A girl loves a bargain, you know? I usually do my groceries between Target and Trader Joe's because they're closest to me but honestly Aldi might have just stolen my heart I also got a request to do a what I eat in a day video and I thought that was interesting that someone would be would want to know so I think I might do that oh it looks like it's gonna rain oh oh camera's going down oh no it stayed it's holding on maybe I should make a list for the grocery store I know people normally make grocery lists I usually just wing it but then I always end up forgetting something. So maybe that's not very effective. I know I need fruit, uh, vegetables, snacks. I love snacks. I'm a big snacker. I need bread. Yeah, I should make a list. <laughs> In conclusion, I should make a list because there's I'm probably not gonna remember. Okay, we have arrived at Aldi. I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> I started making the list and I was like, I'll get what I get when I see it. Let me check if I have a quarter. When you go to Aldi, you need a quarter to get the shopping cart. So I usually keep a quarter specifically for Aldi. It's my Aldi quarter. Here we go. Haha, <laughs> success. Let's go. It looks like there's gonna be a storm. Actually. In case there's torrential downpour. <laughs> But I like to bake things from scratch. I don't like to use like boxed baking goods. It takes the fun out of it. Mm, the lime plantain chips, yeah. Of course the ones I want are all the way at the top. Success, we got it. <laughs> we need some tortillas. <gasps> they have LaCroix here and it's cheaper for the 12 pack. They have a bunch of cheeses and like things to make sure cookery boards with. Cheese, um, yes, I want cheese. Queso fresco. Ooh, yes. My inner Guatemalan just leaped out. They even have Lunchables dupes and real Lunchables, but the dupes are called never any. Never any what? <laughs> they have vegan ice cream, chocolate or vanilla. Oh, good job, Aldi. Oh wait, I need peanut butter. If you were a jar of peanut butter, where would you be? I'm assuming where the sauces and stuff are, right? No. Oh, is that peanut butter? No. That is seasoned salt. Okay, not peanut butter. This cart is really holding me back right now. I would move so much faster without it. I'm gonna actually just leave her there for a second and leave. I feel like it would be in here. Where's the honey? It's usually where the honey is. And the jams and stuff. Oh wait, condiments. Condoms. No? The peanut butter is not in the condom section either? There's peanuts. I see peanuts, but no peanut butter. Okay, rude. Oh, spotted. Spotted peanut butter in the random middle of the aisle. Jams and spreads. Same peanut butter and some dupe Nutella. Yes. Good, good, good. Great. I think that's all I need. I have stuff at home that I'm still good on, so for now, I think that's it. They have so much stuff here. Honestly, if you have an Aldi near you, just like go walk through the aisles. They have like keto bars, frozen things. Reminds me of um, the type of stuff they have at Trader Joe's. Ooh, acai bowls. It's like a little frozen acai bowl. That's cute. Peanut butter popsicles. Plant based. Those look good. I've actually noticed they have a lot of plant based options, so that's cool. When I was vegan for two years of my life, I came here to find vegan options, but they've really expanded. Of course, it's raining now. Do we try to wait out the rain or do we send it? Okay, we're going. We're doing it. I hope you guys are really happy about this video because I'm going through a mission right now and documenting it at the same time. So I hope you enjoy this. So this rain is for our little cold front that we're getting, which is exciting. It's actually already gotten chillier. 
by the way, if you've never been to Aldi and you are going to go, get a reusable bag because they don't have plastic bags. You can buy paper bags or reusable bags, but if you bring your own, then you are prepared. All right, we got to move back. I feel like I just throw this all in my car. The rain is coming back. Do you ever just throw loose groceries into your trunk? Because same. Oh, yeah, let me just leave my trunk open. Okay. All right, well... I never used the little back windshield wiper. That's cute. I'm glad I brought this sweater because it's cold now. All right, mission accomplished. We did our groceries. I saved the receipt and it was a total of $49, not even 50 bucks. And I got a whole bunch of groceries. I'm very proud of us. I'll do a haul when I get home. I'm home with my giant bag of groceries that weighs like 20 pounds. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little haul just to show you everything that I got. A little recap. Shout out to Aldi. This is not sponsored by Aldi, even though it sounds like it is. I just love them. So in no particular order, I'm just going like in the order in which I packed this bag. I'm actually really surprised that I got everything to fit in this one bag. It's like playing a game of Tetris. Got this popcorn, a good little snack. I'm a big snack girl, so I love any type of like chips and crackers and things. I also got these plantain chips with lime. I got some Italian croutons because I like to add extra croutons to salads and I also eat croutons as snacks. I don't know if that's weird but I like dip them in hummus sometimes and just eat them. I got these bananas. Four, five, six, seven. Seven bananas on this little bunch. They're obviously not ripe yet but they will be and I already have my sights set on these back four to be my next banana bread. I got these multi-grain tortilla chips. They are organic and non-GMO and gluten-free and they're actually really good. They're healthy for you. I also got some salsa in here somewhere. Tortillas for making quesadillas and little wraps and tacos and stuff. I got a loaf of bread. I love bread. This is whole wheat. Oh, I just realized I left the door open. I don't know if it's going to be super loud. Hold on, let me close it actually. That's probably better. Anyway, continuing. I got a bag of spinach. Makes you strong. Blueberries. Blueberries are my favorite. Mangoes are my second favorite fruit. Cream cheese. Queso fresco, which is, it's a white cheese. Um, you can have it like with salad. I eat it just like straight up. I slice it and I'll eat it. You can have it with like a cracker. It's just so good. I got some sliced turkey for sandwiches, some salsa for the chips, and also tacos and quesadillas and stuff. Some little baby carrots, two avocados. It's an avocado. I got some ketchup because we ran out of ketchup for our fries that we eat every day in this household. We got peanut butter because I like to have peanut butter. <laughs> I just like peanut butter. I put it on toast in the morning with bananas and some honey and cinnamon and that's like my breakfast a lot so and i also got some dupe nutella it was right next to the peanut butter and just the merchandising just got me so i like to eat this with like pretzels or also on toast fresh out the toaster you gotta get it like right in time you gotta get the toast out as soon as it pops up it's still gotta be hot and you put the nutella on it and it kind of like melts in there it's so good i promise i got these thin wheats normally i get wheat thins but today i've got thin wheats these crunchy peanut butter granola bars they're basically like nature valley the thing about Aldi is they're all like their own brands and stuff so it's like dupes of everything but it works. I got this pancake mix because I've been feeling like making pancakes. Two little packs of tuna for like wraps and some just quick lunch things sometimes. And I got this raisin bran with crunchy granola. I don't know about you guys but I actually really like raisin bran. I think it's really good. I was about to go for the cinnamon toast crunch which is my ultimate favorite always but this seemed like the healthier and more adult option even though cinnamon toast crunch slaps. I got a box of mac and cheese Sometimes I have friends come over and they just want to eat something quick, so I always have mac and cheese. And last but not least, this one's loud. I got this giant thing of dupe Oreos. <laughs> if I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, I got these because I was thinking of. Hold on. Hi, hello. Look, I got this cute little dupe Oreo so that we dupe. can. Dupe. <laughs> Okay, so we all know the freaking Khloe Kardashian cookie jars. It's immediately what I thought of when I saw these. So we have some dupe Oreos and we're gonna put them in this cookie jar and make it look cute. I don't know if you guys ever saw that episode of the Kardashians where Khloe literally got mad at Chris for copying her cookie jar. Did you ever watch that? No. She was like, you copied my cookie jar. So I'm not sure if there's like a method to doing this. We're gonna try to make it look cute. Some are chocolate and some are vanilla. So I think I'm gonna do like a layer of chocolate, a layer of vanilla, and then another layer of chocolate. This one malfunctioned, it's the wrong side. 
Okay, so do you prefer the vanilla ones or the chocolate ones? Obviously the chocolate ones are the OG, but I actually really like the vanilla ones. It's okay though, a cookie's a cookie, honestly. It looks so cute. Ta-da, now we have a cookie jar. I am satisfied with that. So yeah, in total, all of that was $49, so less than $50, and I am pleased. But yeah, anyway, hope that was entertaining for you. And if you have any other video requests, please leave me a comment or DM me on Instagram. I am accepting requests. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands right now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.